Hello and welcome everybody. My apologies for the delay. This is Mystery Craft Along. We are up to number 17 and this Mystery Craft Along is brought to you by Delise Stamper Girl here on YouTube and my name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted. So um, a welcome to uh, where, whichever channel you're watching from, because I know some folks might be watching from Lisa's channel and some folks might be watching from mine. So um, do engage in the live chat. We, I can see everybody's chat in uh, StreamYard, which is the tool I use to live stream. So um, do chat to your heart's content. <laughs> And uh, thank you. I had some technical problems on my end. And so if I sound a little bit uh, odd, I'm using a different backup microphone. because My primary one just wasn't cooperating. So, um, oh, thank you, everybody. I see a lot of folks uh, in the chat um, already uh, chatting away and a little bit of conversation about my die that came out today so thank you so much for everybody's support i have a shameless plug um pinned in the live chat about it and so uh we can talk more about that later so um but i did want to see some comments come in and i want to thank you all for supporting me and for supporting not too shabby but today we are here for mystery craft along and if you have never um, been a part of a mystery craft along, put a one in the chat. And if you have joined us before, put a two in the chat. Um, let me briefly uh, let everybody know whether you've joined us before or not, or maybe you're catching us on the replay. What is mystery craft along? Mystery craft along is um, a really fun activity that is a little bit like a blind scrap if you are familiar with that the idea being that uh, none of us knows what we are making today so there's with the exception of actually two people one person who will be on screen with us um and that would be delise of course because she is leading us on this mystery craft along and the other person whose arm you can twist if you feel so inclined is T. I saw T in the live chat. She she knows what we're doing. So maybe we can get some uh, clues and hints from T because she helped Celise test the mystery craft along instructions. So um, maybe we can we can get some hints and clues out of T on this. But what's fun about it is that because we don't know what's going on um, Delise is going to give us step-by-step -step clues or instructions for how to create whatever project it is we're making. So it may not even necessarily be a card that we're making today. It could be a, um, a 3D make. It could be a bit of home decor. Who knows? So, uh, and with Delise, it could really be anything because that girl is so talented and <laughs> she likes to, uh, I think she revels in getting to make us do whatever she likes. So, uh, so who knows what we're up to today? And we are, yes, we are just on the main start screen right now as I introduce um, what we are doing. Now, Delise did um, share a supply list with us. So, if you did not already see that in the Crafty Fun with Friends of LP Handcrafted um, Facebook group. Don't worry, we'll bring that up in a moment and we will not leave any crafters behind, don't worry. So if you have not cut your pieces yet, you can do that as we go. And there, actually there aren't a lot of pieces to cut. So before we get started with that, let's meet who our on-screen guests are for today. So, Delise, why don't you introduce yourself first? And uh, if you feel so inclined to give us some last minute hints as to what we're making, you please feel free. But do um, let us know uh, where to find you on all of the socials, where you're joining us from, and all of that good news. And please don't forget to unmute yourself. Thank you for telling me to unmute myself <laughs> because you know I was going to forget. Hi everyone, 
Welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming for another episode of Mystery Craft Along, which is, I love them. They're a blast. Um, today we're making a project that it is, I think we might leave early today. We might have just some fun shenanigans just chatting because this one is a pretty simple one. It really is. So you can find me everywhere in the socials under um, Stamper Girl. And uh, as you can see, I am doing a little bit of coloring because I totally forgot to color my focal image. So I'm just doing using some crafting Kimi because I love her stamps. <laughs> but no, no hints. No hints. Okay, darn. <laughs> I, maybe yeah. I maybe you forgot that I had asked that question. <laughs> nope, you're getting absolutely nothing from me. <laughs> no such luck. Okay, no worries, no worries. We'll have fun. And you know, part of the fun of this is um, don't sweat it, folks. If um, if you're not quite you know following the written instructions, because one, it's always fun to interpret and see how people interpret the instructions because sometimes it leads to some pretty fun creations that may not have otherwise seen the light of day. So I think that's part of the fun, but as well, um, Delise is gonna be here to provide visual hints and clues and um, she will demonstrate, she'll have her camera off for most of the stream, but she'll demonstrate if there's a, uh, a clue or a step that we're truly stuck on. Don't worry, she'll she'll show us what to do. So, um, so just have fun and roll with it. So my yeah. next guest um, is Yvette. Yvette, why don't you introduce yourself? Let folks know where they can find you on the socials and uh, where you're joining us from. Hello, everyone. Um, I am Yvette Olea Creates on all the socials. And I am joining you from my wonderful craft room here in sunny San Diego. Um, I've done, I think, one mystery craft along before, Lynn, if I remember correctly. And I love it. It's just so much fun <laughs> to kind of try and guess what we're going to be making. Although I did have to question, I was I was sharing with uh, Dalis, you know, there weren't that many pieces of paper to cut. So I was got a little concerned with what she's going to have us doing. Right. I I was trying to ask her before I realized no one could hear me that, <laughs> <laughs> that was she sure this was all we need because it seems like a very um it seems like a very sparse <laughs> supply list. So right. I'm with you on that. I'm very, very curious myself. Um okay, so welcome um Yvette. I've got Yvette's um, YouTube channel up on screen and Streamlabs will be popping in these links uh, periodically. So when you see them come up, I hope you'll pop on over and check out my guest uh, YouTube channels and watch a few of their videos you, if you like them. And if you do, hit that subscribe button for them. Last but not least, Jay, thank you for joining today. Would you like to introduce yourself and uh, let folks know where you're joining from and where they can find you on the socials? Yeah, I'm Jay. Uh, I'm joining from Southern Wisconsin this morning or afternoon, depending on where you're located. It is very not spring like today. So I decided that I definitely needed to craft with something that's a little fun and, you know, a little more spring summery. Um, and you can find me on YouTube or Instagram primarily. I tend to do a Sunday night live stream at 6 p.m. Central. So you can certainly find me there as well. And I brought snacks in case we have to wait for crafters. So <laughs> feel free to craft as slowly as possible. Um, you guys will love these. They're they're the panda chocolate <gasps> thing. I love those. I see they're new to my grocery yeah, store. Oh, I've never tried them before. No, I've never tried them before. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Don't but they have, have little yet, pandas please. on them. Anyway, oh, I love it. I want. <laughs> we um, need. Jay, have, when do we have that technology where yeah. we can pass things between us? <laughs> yeah, give me some. Those are Bianca's favorite, like ultimate really? favorite. Yes. Huh. Well, that's good. I guess I don't have to worry about oh. like having a whole bag of them. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> 
Oh, they cut the so strawberry. Pulling one. out the snacks already. Yeah, yeah, the strawberry. I'm always ones pulling are out good. the snacks. Jay, they come in strawberry. They come in vanilla, and they come in chocolate. Oh. The strawberry ones are good too. Okay, that's good to know. But not as good as the chocolate ones. Yeah, not much yeah. as good as chocolate, but you know. <laughs> Lori, Lori's familiar. She says she loves the strawberry panda cookies too. You see? Yeah. Uh, but a lot of people haven't seen them before, though. So <laughs> that's interesting. Wait, were were they at like a, a regular grocery store or like an Asian? Yeah, they were just store? at my normal grocery store. Like, and I'd never seen them before. <gasps> um, we have sort of a candy aisle that they've conveniently moved right next to the self checkout. So. I, I saw them and I was like, I should pick these up because like Lynn would at least find them funny, even if they're not I, great. But oh, God, Jay, they have caramel also. Yes, oh. those are good too. Well, those that's are good hard to, know. to find. That, that sounds delicious. The caramel what? ones are hard to wait, find. Wait, 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 guys. Lori says you can get them at the Dollar Tree. Did you guys pay oh. more than a dollar for it? <laughs> Yeah, the the Dollar Tree usually just has chocolate ones. <laughs> I I may know a lot about this these little candies. <laughs> yeah. <pants>, okay, <laughs> clearly Delise has multiple sources that she knows where to get them from. Yeah, so sometimes during summer they bring a I don't know if it's lemon or key lime. It is delicious. Ooh. That sounds really oh, good. It's delicious, but that one I only find it in the actual um what is that store world world market. World oh, market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that one does have the packaging from um wherever is it that they, they're making Asia. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, so that flavor okay. doesn't come here unless it's like imported from like from there. Oh, kind of like Kit Kats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I want some green tea Kit Kats now. Man, we got See, we got the best. We really got fast. on the subject of food really fast. <laughs> I know. We may have been, been right our time. Our <laughs> well, we have been. The, like the green tea ones, and was just not a fan. And I was like, "How can you not be a fan? They're like the best ones ever." <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's start crossing. <laughs> <laughs> People are probably like, what did I join today? <laughs> Wasn't this supposed to be like a craft along? <laughs> I know. <laughs> when does the crafting start? Yeah, what were what were we doing? <laughs> uh, let's why don't you tell us, Solis, what are we making? <laughs> we are making a project. Okay. Um, all right, so folks, I've got the uh, supply list on screen here and Jalise, would you mind uh reading off what everybody needs okay so yes our first item is going to be our card base so it's we are making a card and um you can start with a solid you could have gone with a pattern paper but i wanted to keep it a little bit simple here and this one it's eight and a half inches wide by five and a half inches tall then you're gonna need item number two is our solid number two and we need two counts of this one at two and three eighths by five and three eighths. And yes, people, I did math just for you because I love you so much. Um, hey, pattern. Please, 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 can I can I interrupt you one sec for a question? Yes. Um, Cindy would like to know what weight is best for the card base. So what you know what? It's a tricky one. You want something that is not too heavy. <laughs> so a 65 pound totally is, unhelpful. Not, is not terrible. But if you go a little bit heavier, that's fine too. Okay? okay. So 65 to like 100? Yes. Okay. Um, did you guys see this? While I've already interrupted you, Pam says, Mystery snack along. Snack along. <laughs> <laughs> we, should have, we should have a snack supply list also. <laughs> you know what? We totally should. Next time, that's what we're doing. <laughs> okay. 
So sorry to interrupt, Elise. Um, do you remember where you are at? <laughs> yes. Sorry. So we're going to move to um, pattern number one, which is item number three. That one we need also two counts. And it's going to be seven eighths by five and three eighths. And then pattern number two, which they could be the same. They could be different. I put them as pattern one and pattern two because I kind of like the two different patterns. Um, that one, we're only going to need one count and it's a two by five. And then focal image. I would, I said two to three inch square or diameter. I, I feel like three inches is like the perfect size. So here is my three inch circle that I've been coloring. This is going to be my focal image. Horrible. And my, I'm, I may actually map this. So it's going to be like a three and a half. So it's not a, it's this size. It's pretty open. Okay. So okay. you could go really small and mat it a lot of times. You can make it be a rectangle. You could be a square. This could be almost anything as long as it's smaller than your two by five. So you don't cover. Oh, I gave you information. Ooh. Oh, wait, what did she say? I wasn't listening. Oh, Jane. I'm not repeating. Jay, oh. something. Oh, no, I missed something pivotal. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> your focal image needs to be smaller than your two by five. Focal so it doesn't image. cover it. Yeah. Jay. I don't have some. But we What's don't know. By... What's two by five? Oh, piece number two? Piece what? number, what is it? Four. Yeah, this one. Four. Pattern four. Pattern pattern paper oh, two. That's it's one. two by five. Oh, okay. Now I know yeah. who's listening and who's not. I was reading. Blossom did this big message and I was so curious because she said she started her cuts three hours ago and her husband said, oh yeah, I was going to ask you to make me some parking stencils. <laughs> so parking stencils? What are those? Parking. What are parking stencils? Like for spray that's... paint? Oh, oh, really? Oh, that's hard. That's like some serious uh, crafting. <laughs> like like on a parking space? Oh, that's crazy. Would that be considered actually a crafting? I don't, I don't know. That's more like a job. Oh, that's a job? <laughs> okay, I was like, oh, what would we consider it? <laughs> Oh, Sharon's making some necklace. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Making Sharon, jewelry. you got to post some pictures. She asked me if I do um any jewelry. I don't, but I love wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, So there's a saying in Spanish. I don't know if Yvette has ever heard it. It's that I dress up. Like a pu like la puerca de Juan Bobo, which is um Juan Bobo is like a fairy tale kind of character, and he has a pig pet. <laughs> um, so, in every time they, I've show, never heard that one. <laughs> no, every time they show, but, but I like it. <laughs> every time they show this pig. Like he has it like this is when I was little and Juan Bobo, this character was way ahead in his time. He would dress the pig <laughs> like the pig had like dresses and a purse and makeup and um like eerie, like the whole shebang, like matching so, outfits, a whole ensemble, the whole thing. <laughs> but like it was like heavy, like um like necklaces, like the whole thing. So that's why they call it like that. Because, like, I put everything on. My friend always tells me, you remember, you have to take one thing after you're done. Okay. Yes. I don't know. How did we get on this topic? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was from jewelry. Sharon's jewelry. Oh, jewelry. Yes. I was like, why are we talking about pigs? <laughs> We're getting dressed up. By the way, Blossom answered. She said that um, her husband's redoing the parking um, at his job, so he's repainting the parking lot. So it is oh. like it is work. It's not. It's not like 
crafty fun. <laughs> it's work. Um, okay, so if everybody is ready, is everybody ready to get started? I see a one in the chat. <laughs> I think Meg's ready to start. <laughs> People are like, get along with it. <laughs> Meg's like, can we get the show going, please? <laughs> so ready. Can we get this show, sh this show started? Yeah, we can get the show started. <laughs> Thanks, Meg. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, okay, I think we're ready. All right, all right. Um, Delise, do you want to turn your camera off? Yes. And then here's clue number one. If you wanna, you wanna so read clue that. Clue number off. one. We are using um, item number one, which is our card card base, and so we're squirting number one along the eight and a half edge at one and seven and a half. Oh. So make sure that oh. your paper is facing up, though. Oh. You mean if it, you have a design, if you have a pattern paper for this? If you ha or if you have a cardstock that has, like, a front and a back. Okay. Like, most of my cardstock, it's kind of textured. Okay, so at one... So it's basically... One, inch one on each, sides. yeah. One on each side, yeah. I, yeah, I, I didn't want to okay. go and com confuse people by saying, because I'm going to say something that might confuse you later. <laughs> not now. Okay. Not that's now. Not a real, that's not a real hint because we always get confused. <laughs> yeah. That's like a guarantee. <laughs> well, it's like every project has that one step that once you've seen it is easy, but you, when you have it, it isn't. So I know, right? So there are some steps that it's just hard to explain that put into um, words. Yes, Meg, it sounds like one from each side, one inch from each side, but she said, do not fold. Do not do fold. Not folks. fold. Do, not, do not fold. Do not fold. She, she didn't actually say those words, but I'm reading. For a change. Yes, I'm so oh. sorry. <laughs> and I don't know why I can't see my chat anymore. Oh no. Well, they're coming okay. up. At, oh, you you can't see StreamYard either. No. Um, okay. Because I can I see it. everything. I rebooted it and I I, I closed YouTube Refreshed and it. started again. Yeah, and it's working now. Okay. 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 Good. So you're gonna you score at one inch. Rotate it, turn it over, and then score it at one inch. Or is the same as scoring one at one inch and the other one at seven and a half. Give me once when you're ready. <laughs> Miss Southern Bell's in the house and she <laughs> she asks who's winning. Who's winning? <laughs> I think I think Jay's winning. He's got panda snacks. <laughs> I know. I think I think Jay is winning with the pandas. <laughs> yeah, Jay said it in the chat. He said me and I have snacks. snacks. <laughs> Well, I have tea. I have iced tea, so I I, I love it. So, oh, Meg's winning. She she said for iced tea. Say that again, Jay. I said, isn't it cold for iced tea? <sighs> I yeah. always drink iced tea, but mind you, my family just like Marcus and Bianca just came from eating ice cream. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So we're we're ice honey. cream doesn't count because it's a dessert. Um, Interesting the rules. I'm I'm like I'm trying to process that. My brain is like hiccuping. Um <laughs> I think we have a lot of ones. We might be we might be ready. We I see only one one. Well, there's a lot. Okay, perfect. So let's move to the second clue. Clue number two. Well, let me just ask, does anyone need more time? Because if you need more time, then put a two. Put a two. Yeah. Because um, I think, so at least you're only seeing chat from your, your channel. So unless yes. you're watching. Ah, yeah. that's what it is. Thank you. That yeah. makes sense. <laughs> okay. So I don't see any twos. So we are going to go on to clue number two. And then clue number two, we're going to turn over oh. that paper upside down. So That's that awesome. side that you just scored, it's going to be facing down. and you, But you're still scoring on the eight and a half inch edge, okay? And now you're yeah. going to 
score at two inches, three inches, five and a half inches, and six and a half inches. Do not fold. So this can also be seen as scoring at two, at three, rotate your paper and score again at two and a three. Oh, I see Thank what you're you. saying. I got it. I got it. Again, folks, do not fold. Do See, not Delisa, fold. Delisa's is leaving stuff off. Did I not say <laughs> do not fold? I thought about it. You thought about it? Oh, that counts. Which I'm not, wait, did you say it and I'm not listening? Because that could happen no. too. I don't know. I thought I said No, I she's just not anymore. reading that part. No, she, she, okay. she just thought about it, but that's good. Oh, that was just in her head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Delisa's like, I'm saying everything. Just some of it might be in my head. <laughs> so we should have <laughs> me all like... the time. <laughs> no, Susan said that she, you did say it. Oh, okay, good. <sighs> oh, she did. I, uh, clearly, oh we were not goodness. paying attention. I guess yeah, we're both not paying. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I'm going crazy now, which could be totally 100. Okay, I've got one. Susan's ready. Lynn's ready. Um, oh, Blossom's cooking. What's for dinner, Blossom? Just checking. Uh, Lenny's a one. Terry's a one. Let us know. Nina's a one. Um, <laughs> let us know if you need more time. Is anybody a two? Sarah Liz is a one. I think we're doing good. Yeah. We are doing awesome. Yep, Cindy's a one. Okay, I think we're um I think we're doing good. There you go. I told you we're halfway there. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Is it Adelheid? Adelaide? Let me know. Did I get that even close? Adelaide? Probably not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So Blossom says hamburger, steak, mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, and dinner rolls. Dang, that's mm. a good meal. <laughs> that is good. My plan for tonight is day. turkey burgers. Oh, dang. Lenny's making homemade pizza. Good. I think dough from scratch, too, because she said the dough is done. And then oh. they're going to be able to do their own toppings <laughs> while she plays. <laughs> oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. Okay. I think we're ready. So let's okay. move on to clue number three. Clue number three. Okay. So on the first and the middle score lines. So we're going to look at this as two different sets of score lines. The ones on the left and the one on the right. Okay. Okay. So on the first and the second or the first and the middle. You are going to make pencil lines every half an inch going down that score line. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, radio silence. Okay, the first pencil so, marks does, doing what? Does it matter? Like parallel to the score line or like per perpendicular to the score lines? Yes. Yeah, I think down the score line. But does it matter Just, which side we're, we're marking? Are we marking it on the the one that has two deep off lines or so okay so let me say it this a different way go to the first score mark and on that score mark on the right side of the score mark do tiny little tick marks every half an inch yeah but but does it matter what side we're marking up the left or the right no, top or bottom, like the face up or face down. Um, you had us do score lines, you know, two are going to be yes, debossed and one's going to be. Yes, do not flip debossed. the paper. Do not flip the paper again. Okay. Okay. Yes, do not flip the paper again. Okay, so every half inch. Every half inch. Every half inch. What did I just hear? A cat or a sound effect? Probably it's a real cat. Probably it's a sound it's a real I guess cat. he's. He, I mean, I guess he's kind of a sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. 
uh, hey guys, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm so lost. Look, can you put yourself on the big screen, Lynn? Let's see what you're doing. I, so this is, okay, so <laughs> everything's white. <laughs> okay. Does that mean it's a three? Do you need a hint? Three. three, um, three. Well, this is what I'm doing, folks. So here's eight inches. Yeah. And right. then we spread this line at one. And so yeah. I put little pencil marks every half inch on this first one. And I think we're supposed to skip a score line. Nope. So that was the one inch. That's and not what I said. On, you said on the first and the third. No, I said the, the first and the middle. And the middle. There's there's no middle score. Did I miss a score line? Yes, here's the middle yeah, scoreline. So here's one, two, three, and then down here there's one, two, three. So basically, yeah, so there's, there's no scoreline directly in the middle. If there's one, two, three, and then one, two, three, it's in one. So the middle of each set of three. Okay, then I am confused. Oh, but she <laughs> doesn't have it right. I don't know. I don't feel like I have it right. What's going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, half inch. Every half inch. Okay. Does somebody else want to venture a guess? Do you do you feel like you got it? <laughs> I hope I got it. Adelaide, so Lynn, I, I, yeah. Okay, so Lynn, you're gonna take your three score lines on the left are gonna be a grouping that okay. I'm going to be referring to them. And the ones on the right are going to be a grouping. So there is a middle score line between two other score lines, right? Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. So on the first and the middle, you're going to make tick marks. Got and it. then you're oh. going to go oh, right, right off score line. Yeah. So that's what, that's what Meg was saying. It's on the two inch line. So we want to do, we want to do tick marks on the one inch score line and the two inch score line. Does it matter where they're going? Oh, Every I'm just marking it on the line. Who knows? We, it can, we can erase it. it. We can erase yeah. it. There, Liz. Yeah, I think you're right. It's on the one inch score line and the two inch score line. So I had it written like that, and I, I thought that was more confusing. Uh, that's more clear <laughs> for future reference. <laughs> For me, anyhow, for me. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else. Okay. And then rot then you're gonna uh, rotate the paper and do exactly the same thing on the other side. Okay. Oh man, that's still the same clue thing. <laughs> so at least that this would be fast. That means uh I have like slow comprehension. <laughs> like step three i'm like confused already i have no idea like t was there she made it with no issues <laughs> t can you vouch <laughs> she did not ask for any clues she didn't ask for any hands no nope. i mean at least if we destroy it there's not many pieces to recut <laughs> right <laughs> That's very true. Okay. How does for a little pick marks take a long time? And by make? the way, the the clue says on the first one inch and the middle score line two inch. So I did that. <laughs> well, uh, you just assume. Oh, see, T says she looked ahead. Oh. <laughs> Well, I think that's a good way to do it. <laughs> oh. When in doubt, just cheat a little bit. Oh, no, Colleen, what happened? Oh, she no. said she had a head injury, so I'll have to watch and do later. Otherwise, I'll have a headache. Aww. I'm oh, so babe. sorry, friend. I hope it's nothing too serious, though. Take care of yourself, Colleen. Yeah, rest up. Feel better. Hey, Lala. Lala's in the house, folks. Lala is hey, hosting Lala. a fabulous retreat. Hi, Lala. In person retreat. Delise yep. is going to be there later today. Tonight, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
Hi, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Okay. Um, so do we need to flip it and do it on both sides or just do it on one? No, I did not say flip it. Okay. <laughs> she said rotate, not flip. Rotate. Yes, rotate. Oh, you and your words. It's just semantic. So you want... <laughs> it's all about the words. <laughs> no. <laughs> Clearly nobody is reading. I was just like listening. Because you, you started diverging from what... You didn't read it, I don't think. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Um. I don't know. Okay. I think I see some. Oh. Oh yeah. Good point. Okay. So Blossom is venturing. I guess I do want to mention if at some point in this process you have a good guess as to what it is we're making, hold that tight in your own head. Don't don't spill the beans just yet. But make a mental note of which clue uh, clue you into what we're making. And uh, let us know at the end how early it is you figured it out. Um, hi, Maria. Welcome, my friend. Uh, OK, I think. Are there any twos in the chat? Does anybody need? Oh, no worries, Blossom. I didn't say it earlier, so I totally forgot. It's um, a Blossom, because you're not right. <laughs> You did not have to tell. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess you didn't give anything away after all. <laughs> Boy, Delise was quick on that. She was like, um, you're not right anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Blossom. <laughs> uh, I love you. You're so funny. Um, okay, I think we're ready. I, I saw some ones earlier as I was muddling through the confusion, and I told Okay. All right. I'm going to go on to clue number four. Oh, okay. gosh. More you're you're going to draw a faint, faint pencil line from each mark on the first score line to the corresponding line on the middle or two inch score line. Repeat on the other side. Uh, the corresponding one. Okay. So straight across. Okay. Couldn't we have just drawn a line to start with? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but then you would have known where to send the second line, the, the line to. Cause well, yeah, you would if you used the T square. Well, you know what? Lynn, you yeah. would have you would have gone like, oh, but not everyone has a T square. <laughs> That's I think most people true. have a T-square. Um, oh, I agree. Everyone should have one. Um, I don't know. Does everybody in the chat have a T-square? Just curious. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. Because if you have a T-square, um, do what I'm doing and do do them both at the same time. Yeah. So I, I'm doing. I hate yeah. T-squares. Because I feel like my T-square is too, like, the gap underneath the head of the T-square is too big. It's too uh, yeah. get a little one. Yeah. yeah. I, I, have, I have that problem, too. Yeah, right? So, um, Jay, do you have the Simon Says one? Nope. Okay. Because that one is a little one. That I have I don't know where it's from. One. Oh, that was from me. Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> so, Is it little? It was a gift. So, yeah, it's tiny. Okay. I may. It's, I may uh, to look into it. It's like an A2 sized one. It's like maybe six inches. That's what I want. Part. It's just a tiny little. No, thing. mine is just. Mine is just. Oh, we're. I get. I got it as a gift because someone was mad that I didn't line up any of my sentiments. So. <laughs> you don't have to divulge who that somebody was. I don't think it was me. But... It wasn't you. <laughs> okay, but wow. I agree. I agree with that sentiment, but I don't think I said it. <laughs> well, that like if you're, 
I mean, I think it's like having perfect pitch. If you like make enough cards, you have this weird eye where it's like when things are off true that are supposed to be in parallel, it like breaks your brain. So, Jay, I obviously I don't have this problem because none of my stuff is aligned. But anyway, I can see when something is crooked up to a between a 116 and a 132nd of an inch, wow. which drives me insane. I think it would. Like it, I'm really working really hard on ignoring those because I'm like most people wouldn't even notice. I mean, I wouldn't, but that's not <laughs> um, we're kind of evenly split on T square or no T square, but I'm with actually I'm with Blossom. I have a, a she's got a four foot um, metal one for quilting. I don't have one that's quite four feet. I don't think I have mine's like maybe. Two feet. Um, but yeah, I have one for that too. Okay, I think we're ready. I see some ones. Um, folks, is everybody ready to keep going? That's what she said, Delise. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. That's big. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we did it. We did it. <laughs> there, and that's grand kitties might be in the room with her. <laughs> Come on. Not right Please. now, but you never know. Yeah. <laughs> she say well, anything. She's got two and three year olds wondering. I know you say something and then it makes me say something that's a little bit more. <laughs> and that's where we get into trouble is when I start saying it too. <laughs> I kept it. Well, some people have monetized YouTube channels like Lynn. <laughs> well, there's, there is that. <laughs> Okay, I see a lot of ones. I see a lot of ones. Okay, I think we're ready. If there's a two in the house and you need more time, let let us know. But I think we are good to go. Yeah. Okay. Um, clue number five, Elise. So you're going we? to fold. Still keep the paper the way you have it, okay? Fold the middle line or the two-inch line. So you can see the lines that you just made. So, so fold, so fold it in. You can fold, let's fold it in. Fold to some back. Things. That would be fold. Okay. Back. So is this fold a valley or a mountain fold? I think it's a mountain. It's a mountain. Wait, what's a what's vet doing? So you fold it. A vet cheated. She did the other side too. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do the other side? My bad. I don't know. I'm guessing you're not supposed to. I'm guessing you're supposed to, but she didn't say so. <laughs> so you're going to, that middle? She might have been thinking it. <laughs> so this is what you did the bed? That's what I did. Like you folded them back, and then you have, like, you have one score line in the middle. Yeah. We don't so like, the big middle to. to so I have a score line on each side of where I folded Yes. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So it's two score lines in the middle, not one. Gosh, you guys are killing me. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, yes, Lynn, it sounds like it's a mountain fold. I'm not scoring my second, or I'm not folding my second one. Although I think you guys are probably right. Is it the next clue or did she just miss it? <laughs> I don't Ouch. know. I'm waiting. I'm being patient. I'm going to wait. So you can see the thing. Okay. Yeah. Can I just advance and peek ahead, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I, just real quick. I, I just mean, need to just see it real quick and then I'll come right back. <laughs> if there's anyone with a two out there, point, put it now so you can stop <laughs> Lynn from looking ahead. <laughs> if not, <laughs> if not, we should move along. Okay, giving it because there's a little bit of a delay from when we say something to when stuff starts showing. Okay, I think most people are one. Let's keep it. wait. Yeah. She didn't say pull the oh other side. So... Lynn, what? you didn't what? tell me they had cute little faces. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't know they had cute little faces. <laughs> um, like honey, they, yeah, let's see. Show, they, show. They have different expressions. Don't eat. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Show us, please. 
Save it's the got like a little nose. Aww. I don't think it has a, it. Oh, it does have a something on this side. He's supposed to be printed on that side, not the other side. You got a defective oh. one. <laughs> oh, I see. There's yeah. There's a little panda printed on this one. Yeah. This have a, a, oh, this is, it's not its nose. It's where they filled it with chocolate. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey. Actually, important question. Important question. What? I believe if your paper is white on one side and color on the other, which way is the fold? So you should have folded mountain with the with the white facing you that should be the mountain can you turn your camera on because there's a cindy with like a visual hint please yep okay all right folks we got a visual hint <laughs> hey she okay. folded both sides but you did not say to fold both sides Cyril, okay. you're gonna if this is your white part you're gonna fold mountain on both sides so you'd have all the white facing up right out. Yep. The white would be on the outside right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then if you notice, I said, so you can see the pencil marks. So I'm going to turn it over so I can see my pencil marks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Cindy, does sure that you... help? Let us know. I'm just saying, though, that the instructions were not complete. Because it just it complete. said fold the middle score line. So I took that as each middle score line. <laughs> That's not what it says. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cindy's good. And um, Delise, I'd like to register a complaint on uh, Meg's behalf. She says you didn't say we needed a track cutter. <laughs> I didn't. New. Um, oh, because because you don't need a track cutter. You can use scissors. I okay. put scissors. So, because I knew that not everyone had a track cutter, so I put scissors. What's so a track cut cutter? Cut those lines from uh, the old, like the old Fiskars paper trimmers. The uh, yeah, that they have the um, to move up and down. Yeah, this. I mean, folks. Oh, like I would recommend. Trimmer. So she's but, saying cut from the fold in, but I would cut from the score line out, just so that if you slip, you're not going to cut further than you. Cut those okay. lines from the fold to the first score line. So from the fold here, here we go. But if you cut from the score line out, then there's no risk of overcutting. But you can't cut from the score line. I mean, you can if you're not using scissors. Mind you, people, I wrote the instructions. Lynn doesn't know what she's doing. Ah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw so in the lines. You, so you're basically cutting <laughs> on the lines you made? Yeah, but it says do not pass the one inch score line. So I think the safest way to not cut past that one inch score line is if you start there and you cut outward. But that's because I'm using yeah. my. But you haven't. Blade. Exactly. If you're using scissors, <laughs> well, I, then I can't help you. <laughs> yeah. My bad. And Sorry. then, um, Lynn, the next slide it has a visual aid. Oh, uh, we love the visual aids. I agree. I know Jay loves them. Well, I stole them from Kim, so oh, I, I, I can't take credit for them. Okay. How's everybody doing in the chat? Meg, uh, <laughs> Carrie says easy peasy with. Okay, Meg's got, Meg has a three. So, Delise, do you want to? Um, Okay. Yeah, so here is the way I folded it. Here are the lines that I can see. And I'm just grabbing my scissors and coming from the fold all the way to that first one inch score. Okay. 
Um, hopefully, I'm not making anyone nervous with my big utility blade. <laughs> I'm not. Worry. I'm not yeah. looking at you. <laughs> Don't worry. I keep my blades very sharp, and I change them out because I change them out regularly. So. It's, it's only a dull blade. Though. Yeah, you're right. Great. Dull blades are are the dangerous ones. Yeah, you right. need to have a sharp blade. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mine, though, dull and sharp blades are dangerous. <laughs> in on my hand, in my hand. Well, for the blades, yeah. But Anything with an edge. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is different. Does she have her kitty scissors? Because <laughs> she really keeps an eye. <laughs> I'm sure she's got her kitty scissors. Like, here are my kitty scissors. <laughs> <sighs> They're not really your kitty ones because they don't have the blunt rounded edge. Oh, they kind of do. <laughs> yeah. They do. <laughs> oh. They're my kitty kitty because it's a Hello Kitty. Oh, is it? Oh, that's adorable. Mm -hmm. Meg, are, are, you, from... are, you, are you all set, Meg, with the visual hint? Did that help? And 20 cuts. Oh, is, did that end up being 20? Oh. 20. <laughs> oh, just had to nice verify. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oakley doakley. We got one. Oh, God. It suddenly just showed all of Megan's Meg's threes. <laughs> okay. I, she said though she put a one. So okay. I must have been getting the the um the live chat really really behind. <laughs> oh I think Blossom has an idea of what we're making. <laughs> she was trying to hold it in. <laughs> I love her. You can do it, Blossom. You can do it. Hold it. <laughs> oh, Colleen's so sweet. She's such a good cheerleader. <laughs> we're all like... <laughs> we're trying to muddle through. Oh, she's so sweet. You're holding it. <laughs> Oh no, Delise, Delise, you've got Meg stress eating her gummies. <laughs> um, okay, I, I think we are ready though for, yes, for the next. Move. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry, you said there was a diagram. Yep. Yeah, so that's our diagram, folks. If it's all folded, uh, unfolded. So if you unfold the whole thing, that's what it should look like. Do Ooh, not okay. fold anything else. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh no! Let's see what you did, Jay. <laughs> sure. No, I only I only cut like these, and it looks oh. like you're supposed to cut extend the line all the way to the like this score line. No, no, is that what I draw? I draw it wrong. Then. Yeah. To so move it. <gasps> then I did it wrong. No, you're yes, you're supposed to extend that the other line because remember that you folded. So cut it as it was folded. That was the right. Yes. Way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Well folded. Yeah. Oh, I didn't but, get that part. You're good, Jay. Just fold it and 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 just cut right over. Right follow that cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Follow it. Mine didn't or go I all the just... way And you thought you had a sharp blade. Well, I don't push very hard. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of cardstock are you using? Like a two hundred? Uh, um, one, <laughs> one. No, just like well, folded is two hundred, but because it's a hundred pounds. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think folks are good. Um, I'm gonna. I went on to seven. Delete. Okay. Number seven. You're gonna glue number two, which is your solid two to the center of number one our solid two 
But there's two of them, right? Yes. And on which side? The mountain fold side or the valley fold side? So you're going to do it and then you're going to turn it over and do the other piece on the other side. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's the next part of this instruction is you're going to turn it around and then glue the second solid to, to the center. We're starting to glue, folks. That means the finish line is in sight. Yep, we're almost there. I lost my cutter, my trimmer. <laughs> I apparently cut this one incorrectly. We get to Elise to cut her own MCA incorrectly. <laughs> of course. So, that's Elise for you. Yep. There you go. Much Our better. fearless leader. <laughs> I was out for like, I think that's. What is that? I think that's not six, a sixteenth of an inch. <laughs> yeah, these are really thin margins here. Yes. Oh, I see some hi, Jim. Hey, Jim. Welcome. Jim says hi, everybody. Hey, Jim. How are you? Oh. Okay. Follow number two to the center of the back piece too. Okay. So I think we're. I think I'm. I think I'm good. How's everybody doing in the chat? Are we, uh, do we have ones? Do we have twos? Do we have threes? Let us know. Okay. So what are we doing? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Jay just caught up. So you're gluing your solid cardstock to the center. On both sides. Like, yes, on both, on both sides. sides. Mm -hmm. I can do that. I think it's easiest to see the vet. That's not solid. That's padding. No. <laughs> oh. Jim says he's still recovering from hip replacement surgery. Oh, how long ago was oh. that? So you that said solid like or pattern? Major. Solid. Uh, well, okay. solid, but I think Yvette just chose uh, a glitter. Ah, I see. All right. So, got some ones. Um, hi, Cheryl. Welcome, my friend. Hey, Cheryl. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, three weeks ago was the surgery. Oh, Nine yeah, that's ago. fresh. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. <sighs> yeah. Um, okay, so I see some ones, but I don't see... Cindy, are you still with us? Sarah Liz? I don't know if Sarah Liz bounced. I, have we left anyone behind? I hope we haven't left anyone behind. Those were okay, Cindy's still working. Okay. Well, Jim, feel better. Okay. Oh, Sarah Liz is making dinner. What are you making for dinner, Sarah Liz? <laughs> <laughs> We had some mashed potatoes and gravy was what I heard from uh, Blossom's meal. <laughs> so that's my favorite. And parking stencils. And parking, and parking stencils. stencils. <laughs> yep. So, Jay, on the panda snacks, are, are you thumbs up or thumbs down on them? Oh, big thumbs up. Like, they're, like the chocolate's actually decent chocolate. So they're kind of like... They're like, yeah, they're, the cookie part is really thin, so they're more like um, like a little bit of chocolate cream that like happens to be in a cookie. So they're really good. They're, they're almost like a wafer cookie kind of texture, mm -hmm. like a really thin in, animal cracker or something. 
Oh, yeah, they're like so crunchy. They're so crunchy and they're so very thin. Crunchy. They're very, very thin, and they're oh, there's a lot of the chocolate inside. Yeah. Uh -huh. For for how tiny the 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 little cookie is. Um, FYI, Blossom says she would not turn anyone down if they wanted to send her a box of Mexican candies and tamarind treats. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, just, just, you know, public service announcement, neither would I. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cindy says one, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, I think I think that means we might be good to move on to the next step. Um, okay. Is that all right. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. All right. With number okay. one facing up. What does face up mean? <laughs> does that mean with the valley? With with the valley facing up. If okay. you're those, if you those, if you don't have anything that differentiates, with the valley facing up. Okay, gotcha. Glue number three, which is pattern paper one, to the first one inch rectangle made by the end of the cardstock and the first score line. Okay, I wasn't listening to any of that because I saw my pencil marks and got OCD and needed to erase them. Okay, so. With the valley facing up. I'm still erasing. <laughs> Hold on. Don't leave me behind, everybody. OCD moment needs to erase. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm listening. Okay. With number one facing up or the valley fold facing up, you're going to glue number three, which is your pattern paper one, to the first rectangle that is made to your left, okay? Okay. And then you're gonna turn your paper, like rotate your paper around and repeat with the other piece of number three. Rotate it around. Can't we, isn't it just on the other side? Yeah, mm -hmm. on the other side, yeah. Oh, okay. We don't really need to rotate. We could just glue. Yeah. Okay. No, but it's just so it makes sense. The I what I said for the first inch rectangle. Oh, I see. I understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'm just cheating off of the bed. <laughs> but get it right. <laughs> you just identify the good student and then cheat. <laughs> and cheat. <laughs> I can't tell what Jay is doing. He's not using bright colors. It's so hard. I'm using <laughs> yellow and magenta. Little... So I just glued That's it to true. the outside. I can't see yeah. your middle, though. What did you use in the middle? Where's your middle? It's just the same color. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I cut it all out of the same color cardstock, which may or may not have been a good idea. Only time we'll will see. tell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do we have one, twos, or threes? And Sassy, Sassy's LLC or Sarah Liz is making a uh, no something, no chopped chili. It just kind of sounds like an easy one pot meal, which I'm all, I'm all for. <laughs> Big fan of that. Um, see, she hasn't said, Sarah Liz, because she's at, so Sarah Liz is asking Delise, should the card be folded for this step? Should the card be, no, it should be flat. So the, the <laughs> valley, the valley march should be facing up and it should be flat. Okay, gonna roll with it. I'm with you, Sarah Liz, on the one pot meals. I'm all for it. One pot, one pan, you know, three on steps Friday, max, maybe. <laughs> on Friday, I made eight quarts of beef stew. Oh, nice. How long will that last? 
So what I do is that, so the first day we ate beef stew, the second day we ate beef stew. So now I freeze it and I, they forget that I make beef stew. And the next time that I pull it out, it's going to become beef barley soup. Oh, (laughs) interesting. So I freeze it and then I bring it, I bring out half of it and it becomes beef barley soup and then the other half i keep it still in the freezer then put it up maybe like a week after i pull it up into the refrigerator and that becomes my empanadas or my um stuffing oh how cool. empanadas those sound good i know That's so from so to i get diff- completely different meals out of it Bye, Jim. Jim's off to dinner. Have a good dinner, my friend. Rest Bye. your time. Bye. I feel better. Bye, sweetie. Jim. Okie dokie. Um, okay, I see we some ones. Ready. Yeah, I see some ones. I don't. Wait, Meg was a two. Meg was a three. Oh, wait. But Meg's okay. a. Wait, she's no, a Meg's one a now. One. She's, she's a one. A she, one. Went from, okay. she went from two to three to one. So she's. she's <laughs> Sarah Liz is caught up, and uh, there's a request for your recipe for your beef stew, FYI, <laughs> from Sarah Liz. Oh, girl, and it's one of those that you put everything in the Insta Pot and let it cook for 45 minutes. That's it. Oh, I love oh, it. Oh, neat. Mm-hmm. That sounds interesting. And I'm lazy. I even buy the teeny tiny itty bitty uh, potatoes so I don't have to cut them. I should tell no, this that's, not, this in that's not being lazy. That's being smart. <laughs> yes, it's 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 work smarter, not harder. Yeah, yeah, that's being efficient. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna move on to the next. Yes. Two. Okay. With number one, face up. So just the way you have it, glue number four, which is the pattern paper two, on top of the center panel. I'm gluing tons of glue on mine because my paper did not match very well. So I sprayed it over with an ink and now it's all crinkly and (laughs) I want it to stay down. (laughs) Oh, I love this. Nina says we need an empanada (laughs) cook-along. Yes. That sounds complex. I've never made an empanada. That sounds hard to do. They're not hard to do. It, They're not. It's just time consuming. Just They're like time tamales. Consuming. They're just yeah. time consuming. That's all. It's yeah. just like a pocket pie. You just roll out circles either. and then you, you basically just roll out a circle and then you fold it in half with uh-huh. the whatever in the middle. Yep. Uh-huh. I buy my empanadas um frozen. But like yes. Yeah, I was like, that's how I would make them. I just buy them, period. <laughs> oh, no, my mother-in-law makes the best empanadas, she, her, and, but she hand makes the, the dough. The dough? So the it's, dough. it's like flour tortilla dough. Yes. And then um, she makes different ones. So she'll make empanadas stuffed with meat and um, yeah, girl, other ones with beans and cheese, other one with cheese and jalapenos and it, oh. just a variety of empanadas. Girl, but oh, I have to yeah. do them. Hungry. I have to do mine gluten free, so I have to buy them from the gluten free place. Oh, yeah. Man. yeah. What a pain. Uh huh. I know. I love my husband. So yeah, I was like, uh, <laughs> don't let Marcus hear you say that. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I think Me? like anyone who is gluten free would also admit that being gluten free is a royal pain. It is a royal pain. I, 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 I just can't right. even imagine. They will all yeah. tell you that it's a royal pain. Especially Ooh, if, yeah. it, if it's due Sorry. because of a, a health reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Had to make lasagna. <laughs> Oof. Brenda. Yeah, right? You pick lasagna. I like this us. is a good idea from Blossom. No cook along. Everyone just make, make what you're going to make and she'll come eat. <laughs> 
I'm with you, my friends. See, Blossom has the best ideas. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to tag along with anything Blossom does. <laughs> All right. I think we are going to fast forward to clue number 10. Okay. What's the right side? Okay. So I that one that you just have our... in the front. Yeah. The one that has that pattern paper in the middle. Yeah. So please mm -hmm. do not start folding yet. Okay. So listen first. The first fold, the one inch line, it's going to be a mountain. The second one, you already did it as a valley. You are skipping the next score line. And then you're skipping the next one after that. And then the next one, you already folded it as a valley. And the last one is going to be a mountain. So on each one inch side, we just fold that mountain fold. Yes. But okay. do not fold the one. The Jay, third. Yeah. making that clear. I like the most. These are very good MCA instructions. <laughs> okay. I can't tell if Jay is saying that ironically. I know. <laughs> Me neither. No, I mean, I think I'm they confused, are actually Jay. good. No, I think they're good at confusing people. So I think they're ideal oh. for MCA. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I like yours of that. That's cool. With the uh, with that blue Thanks. hard sack, that's really nice. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay. And that's like, we landed the same thing I did, where we just decided to like opt for like the non-directional pattern in case we put it on in the wrong orientation. Oh yeah, of course, <laughs> for sure, for sure, Jay. <laughs> Do we have any threes? Uh, let's do mountain, valley, skip, skip, valley, mountain. Okay. I don't know why. See, Delise adds all these cautionary warnings when I feel like her instructions are pretty clear. <laughs> what? You're making me second guess myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all the ones flooded. They're like, yeah, this was clear as rain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the next one. No, 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 no. Blossom, do you really want Mexican candies on Tamara and Treat? I'm sure I can find that. Oh, Okay, you're gonna... This, I didn't know how to write this down, so deal with it. <laughs> uh, everybody give it up for our MCA leader. Deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> Poke through every other piece you cut on clue number six to create a ladder. And if you put a three, I'll show you what I mean. If you guys, I'm not even going to do it yet. So in case I have to show it in camera. Well, you can always undo it. There you go. With that? That's exactly what I like. Yay! Like this, but all of them. <laughs> I bet. Which one did you poke through? Your evens or your odds? I put my evens forward and my odds back. This and it doesn't neither. matter. It doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, Brenda's finding. <laughs> what are you finding? Are you finding the candies, Brenda? <laughs> For Blossom, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh. Those candies are in abundance where I live. The panda candies? No, the Mexican well, candies. candies. Uh, I can, candies. I'm right by the border. I can literally walk outside up the hill and see the flag from Mexico. Wow. Across the way. Okay. <laughs> wow. Hey, how far like, are you from Ir 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 Irvine? Irvine is yes. probably about an hour, hour and a half, maybe. 
maybe. Okay. I'm like right by the border. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what happened? I did something wrong. <laughs> on your, no, wait, on your design? No, yeah. on, the instruction, on the instructions. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we got ones coming in, so <laughs> we're committed. <laughs> I like it as it is. I mean, it I looks good there. Yeah. Do we call it done? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I would be happy. Bad. Oh, yeah. With the, like, yeah, I just add a thing and then I think we could call it done. Well, I guess we'll see. <sighs> Oopsie. Should I go to the next slide, please? Um. <laughs> she's she's uh, pulling her leg. She's gotta be. I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. <laughs> Bigger envelope, I think, is your answer. Okay. Um, no, oh, that's clever, clever, Brenda. She says she started with ground turkey and didn't tell anybody, so no one knew the difference instead of using beef for her lasagna. Okay, so I'm gonna have to show put the camera on. Wait, should I, I go to I, the next? Um, to 12? You might not be able to do 12. <laughs> I'm just reading it. That's okay. Focal. Attach focal images to the center panel. That's fine. It just depends on how big it was, right? Exactly. So if it was bigger than two inches, two and a half inches, it's not going to fit. And I can show you how to fix it. So what orientation uh, is the card? I think it's it's portrait. Yes. Um, okay. So like this, Billy's where it stands out. Turn your camera on. Yep. Give me one second. Let me put it the way that you guys have it, so you guys can. We can't see you if you're intending us. Yeah. To no, you. I know. Oh. Okay. Okay. So right now, so you want to have it so the flaps go on the outside. Okay. Yeah, you could just reverse it. Yeah, reverse the fold just so the flaps are on the outside. And if the flaps, those la that ladder is on the outside, then you can attach any size here. Yeah. Oh, that's if we want a bigger size focal. Yes, if yeah. you want a bigger size. Okay. So if you don't want to reverse your folds, you can just flip it around to the back. You can just yes. put another piece of pattern paper there. Yep. It can be a yeah. reversible. Okay, gotcha. So did everybody follow that in the chat? So um, so here's where Delise is. So here's where we're at. This was our front as it's been instructed to us so far. If you can fit your focal image in this area between these two pillars, kind of, then you're all set. You're good to go. If you mm -hmm. want to use something larger, just reverse all of your folds so that it looks like this instead. Yeah. And you have like a larger, see how wide that is? You have but, a wider. Yeah. To and it should be with. really easy to reverse it. Just like just torch these two flaps in. And it should just fold right in. Yeah. I'm going to. I need some pink in there. What's everybody else doing? So are you guys, Yvette, Jay, are you guys keeping it? Or are you reversing it? Screaming at me? It. Yeah, I'm keeping it. Oh, I like it with the magenta better. Why is magenta the best color for everything? Um, uh, with these uh, neon. Peel it. 
Hmm? It's not the best color for everything. Teal is. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Just saying. Can we patch things to the flaps too? Say like that this again. Is Kansas. Can I glue this to the flap without screwing it up? You can glue it to the flap, but it has to Yay. fit inside the flap. Right, right. I get it. Yeah, that's too big. I want to layer on this. And I can't find my circle die cuts. I think I'm, I'm going to reverse mine. Is that bigger than that? Nope, exactly the same size. By the way, the other day I realized that I have a bunch of um, circle die cuts. And it's because apparently I have two sets of the same spellbinders or whatever it was oh no way yeah. really <laughs> you're so funny that's why not even different not even different brands but from nope. the same they're exactly the same and i'm like oh wait that looks exactly <laughs> the same oh what a bummer i know it happens especially if you're me <laughs> At least that means you'll never be at a loss for a circle. Right? Well, um, yeah, until I lose them all, which happens so much, too often. Okay. I won. Why is this being so hard for me to pick a circle? Should not be so hard. Okay. I, I reversed all of mine, folks. Um, did somebody answer Jay's question? <laughs> Can we, right. we can, we can glue like yeah. over the, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You could glue over the whole thing. It's just like, you would need to fold it in this way to get it into an envelope. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. Or use a bigger envelope. Or like you can buy yeah. five by seven and do whatever exactly. you want. Yep. Oh, I... Actually, that's an interesting idea. Maybe. You really have to make these ephemera packs so big. It's like, I'll never add. Oh, oh, that would be, that would be cute. Now comes the quiet time when everybody's decorating. <laughs> <I'm making. laughs> but really, it's, it's not a hard to make card. It's just hard to explain it. Oh my God, these two. I just cut two circles thinking that they were different sizes. They're exactly the same one. <sighs> Again? Again. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just do that? You pulled something out and you're like, nope, same size. Yep. And I cut them and it, they're exactly the same size instead of having two different ones. Oh, well, look at this okay. weird, look at this weird shape die. <gasps> wow. Isn't that, isn't that, that is crazy? Cool. But that's I'm not going to cool. use it. Is that for I like the four stash? petal one, although I haven't used it for anything. Yeah. Which one, Jay? The four petal. 12 by oh, yeah, like layering side. Yeah, that one's I a probably... pretty one, too. You haven't used it? You should. I have a lot of things I haven't used that I should. <laughs> it's kind of a trend. <laughs> I don't doubt that. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, that would never happen to me. <laughs> I'm joking. Sure. Never. Yeah. never. Okay. There it is. Oh, man. What colors? What colors? Uh, He's so he cute. Okay, I'm going to mute myself because the Gemini is really but, loud. By the way, not that I would make any money or 
out of this, but um, Crafting Kimmy is having her birthday celebration this weekend on her Facebook group. And she is doing some cool sales, tons of challenges. And uh, like right now, like everything that she is retiring, she's making a folder and it's at least 30% off. Some of it is 40, some of it is 50% off. So great deals to be have. Do not go get the last toe because that set is mine. So back off. Um, <laughs> wow, that was a very serious warning post. <laughs> that seems like a no joke <laughs> kind of deal. <laughs> it's such a like she'll set. be she'll be knocking on your door if you get that. I know. <laughs> There's not one left. So I am actually using some of her stamps right now. I am using um, Zoodles of Fun, which is this one. Mm -hmm. Zoodles of Fun. I, I use the Little Lion. And then from, I think this one is Santa, pa Santa Paws. And I'm using the Little Present yeah. to yeah, make a... Yeah, you just answered Sarah's question. Cute lion. Is it from the Craft and Kimmy Zoodles set? Yes, uh, it I is, guess. Sarah. It is from the Zoodles of Fun. I love this set. So there's one set that I actually have to still get from her. Uh, because hello, how is it that I don't have it? It's beyond me. <laughs> um, she has a set that is all monkeys. So let me show you. Let me see if I can show oh, you. Yes. The monkey see business can... one? Shh. Yes. Yes. Oh, I have that and I've never used it too. What? I bought it when uh, Artful Angel was doing one of their clearancy thingies yes. on their live streams where you get X percent off. Mm -hmm. I bought too many things. Yeah. Well, maybe so not too many set. things, but. It's so cute. So it's kind of the idea of the same look of this monkey but it has it's all little monkeys oh. so i really love this one this one has the little alligator and the little toucan and then the funky little giraffe i always say that it looks it almost looks like it's a little drunk i love it <laughs> <laughs> And then I use the little present from here because I think that the challenges are all like birthday themed. That looks birthday, right? Sure. Everything's birthday. That's the best part of birthday. Yes, like right. The biggest birthday <laughs> sentiment and it can be like whatever anything. thing you're interested in. Yep, anything. That's why I thought That's why oh, I I I can slap a, a a present in there and it will be a birthday one. I'm actually already doing that, Pam. I'm not technically on a no buy, but <laughs> uh, so like the, this <laughs> spring where I'm using stuff I own that has been in it, the to do pile for a while. Well, Jay, Brennan and myself are we have this little chat in instagram that it originated because i have a gazillion mft stamps that i have never used and i started this chat so we we were planning on doing an mft um hop to use our stamps it really has turned into oh look mft has a new release look they have sales so this has become the I opposite of the so original adding, intention. Yeah, we are adding to the stash instead of using the stash. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Not very useful, but a lot of fun. <laughs> this is what happens when enablers get together. <laughs> we are not allowed to be together. Yep. <laughs> so I'm curious, Elise. Yes. What is your watercolor class on today? Um, it's called, and it's called intuitive, 
watercolor and uh, you know what it's just an easy way to show people that they can watercolor so we're going to be doing a lot of masking with uh washi tape and um oh, okay i was gonna say i don't know that like normal people own masking fluid no 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 just washi tape or regular tape or whatever tape. Oh, okay and just using that to make some backgrounds and some cards oh neat mm -hmm. That's I, I really like that like i really like that technique just because you can get like uh i don't know if it's washi or something else but like you can get the ones that are in like a whole bunch of different widths so like you can do like small lines too that are kind of cool yes 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 and you know what you can use almost any tape as long as you like run it or either in, on your skin or your yeah piece of fabric to take some a little bit of the stickiness out oh that's a good point mm-hmm Are we ready oh, for the God. last? Are we ready oh, for the Oh, yes. Last? I'm sorry. Should I have gone to the left side? Sorry. Yeah, probably. When, once we start decorating, I like always think we're done, but there's always this. <laughs> you just made a, a double, double tower fold car. Yay. And if you're, if you like this type of card, um, Sam Cockett has like a gazillion different versions of this she has oh. it so they have she has a die, she has a die for it too. does oh, she really? make a die for this i yeah. would totally buy a die to make this thing because that's a lot easier than cutting yeah but i think her <laughs> original and her die you end up having a six by six card and i oh. didn't want to do a six by six card because yeah. i know that some people don't like to mail um square cards so that's why it took me a while to send my the instructions to t and it was because i went from a six by six to a five by sorry a five by six which i didn't like how it looked inside of an envelope that was my only thing and then to figure it out how to do it so it would fit in in a2 because this one, you could fold it like this and mail it. Yeah. I, usually, Sam has like... Oh, um, wow. Five by seven and six by six dies for most of her dies. I don't know about this one. But yeah. I do see some posts in the group. So let's Yeah, check look it at these. That is the coolest paper. That's what I oh, was Oh, that about. is cool. Ooh. That's you very my cool. Everything. Aww. <laughs> right oh, what a good idea to do like one pattern that's been. Oh, I didn't even think about that because Elisa pattern paper one and pattern paper two. <laughs> Ooh, different paper. Blame it on me. I, as much as I can. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know it, girl. Of course. <laughs> that, that's gorgeous, T. But T knew what we were doing. Yes. Or was that your first one, T? Or was that one from today? Oh! <gasps> <gasps> oh! Look at the kitty! Look how big the kitty is! <laughs> hey, look, there's bling on each of these. That's I know. so awesome. I may need to add some bling. Oh, look at that that is so cool oh yeah terry terry reversed hers too yeah to be able to fit that beautiful kitty cat oh check well this is not from today but, but that's adorable pretty. yeah oh that's so cute chow she's not in the chat but still really cute chow <laughs> I think, oh, there's another one. How did I miss? Did I Let me refresh? Yeah, I see sometimes mine does that. It refreshes that little recent media, but doesn't refresh. In the thread. Yeah, yeah. I always have to flip it to, you know, newest post, post. you know. Yeah. Oh, look, yeah. there's two. Oh, check. Three. Oh, this is... 
Beautiful. Oh, that's very elegant, Meg. I know. Oh, that's pretty. There's gold foiling on her papers. I know. I like the diamond, too. Oh, that's, that's neat. I like that effect. She's got the diamond behind the square. Wow, everybody's done such a beautiful job on these. I know, right? I like her sentiment like that. Yeah. That's so elegant. I know. Yeah. She looks like I it's said it glowing, first. too. Yeah. Oh, wait, she's got her screen. She's got teas on the screen <laughs> behind her. <laughs> we got a two-for-one shot in that one. Oh, check this out. Oh, dang. Who's is this? Oh, Lynn. Oh, wow. How is it? Yes. Holy moly. Did wow, you start look at this that. before us? <laughs> that fishy. Okay, so Those are Spellbinders dies, aren't they? That's yeah. the uh, through your window, whatever, that I want to buy yeah, in heaven. Yeah, it's the Tina Smith. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Look at all the die cutting. Oh, this is a, the perfect card for it, too, that portal. portal. I know. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm glad you gave us the option to reverse it for the larger. It looks yes. Like, yeah, it looks like a lot of people are taking it. Yeah, because I have seen a lot. I see a lot of people like keeping it. So another thing that you could do with oh. the oh, that's gorgeous. I have some of that. Oh wait, <laughs> I have the paper, not the ephemera. <laughs> Isn't that great to be gorgeous and smart? <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Dating. I'm sorry, what were you saying, Delise? Um, so, Dad, there's a few modifications to this card that you can try. And um, I am hoping that I will have a video coming out this week with the modifications. So it kind of looks a little bit different, but it's just more or less the same idea. So... I can't wait for you guys to see it because I think the modifications are super cute too. To me, it was going to be a little bit um, harder to explain it. So I decided not to do the modifications because this is the basic one. Okay, so everybody be on the lookout for a video on Delisa's channel. Okay, I should have stamped this before I mounting it with the foam tape <gasps> that is perfect <laughs> um if anyone else has crafted along with us and would like to share to the facebook group uh please do there's a link to it whether would... you're watching and uh, crafting along on the replay or uh, live with us right now if you're live with us right now then i can i can bring up the group again whenever there are new posts and then we all get to have a little look see i know you guys all did so good those are beautiful yeah i agree so one of the challenges for crafting kimmy's birthday is a birthday card of course and then is to add dots so I am counting those itty bitty dots in my pattern paper as dots. Okay. Of course that you fits. would. Bye, Sarah Liz. Have a good dinner. Bye, honey. Or really, Sarah, anything with a really anything with a period job, be a dot? Yes. Or an I. <laughs> oh, maybe. Or an exclamation point. Like happy birthday exclamation point. I don't think that would fly with them, but. You could try. Are they, not, are, they, are they not a fan of cheating? Not so <laughs> great. <laughs> well, that's Thanks. not fun. Thanks, Pam, for hanging with us. Thank you, Pam. Sarah, buen provecho. Have a good meal. How do you guys say buen provecho in English? Um, Yvette. You're basically just saying enjoy. <laughs> right? They don't mm -hmm. have it's just enjoy. They don't have a word for it, like a, a like. No, 
No, it's a, we, we just say um, provecho, so they don't. Adelaide, English, are, they don't you're not, are you are you on Instagram? If you're on Instagram and you share with my um, hashtag, hashtag LV Handcrafted, then I should get notified. And I'll be able to see it if you if you tag me. So you can do either. I'd like to show this. my this. Oh, no Instagram either. Okay. See, too bad YouTube doesn't let you do like photos really. There's no good way to share photos. I know. So, um, so do we do we figure it out? Um, how to pronounce your name so we don't butcher it. I've been saying Adelaide. Adelaide. Yeah. But I could still be wrong, but she was gracious enough to say that it was good. <laughs> 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 so I've just kept at it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I agree. I don't know how we can try to, I can, I don't know how to what options there are for sharing directly um i mean you could always email it to me and then i could post it to our group if you would like to share to our group but um but i don't know if you necessarily want to do that but i'm happy to share my email though so if anyone wants it i'll put it in the chat i am so excited with this card i really like it <laughs> yeah i i I had the suspicion when you had us do the pencil marks because I've seen you post a card like this. Yes. <laughs> That's the only reason. Yeah. I almost didn't post that card. <laughs> but I was like, oh crap. I put it for the wrong month. I'm like <laughs> We all follow you, so I'm like <laughs> But I've never made one before, so it was still a bit of a surprise. Look at that. Yay. Oh my god, that's pretty, Lynn. Oh, thank you. Boop. I um, love that you you can extend like you really can extend like making the card and the ephemera and embellishments all the way to the top ladder, like you did. Oh yeah. I yeah. mean, it can go even to here if you have like yep. the little butterflies could have gone in here too, and then that yep. would just extend it like even more. But yeah, this is gorgeous and and a fun one to make too. Oops, don't squish. So one of the things that I was thinking that you guys that you could also do is in that and where you make the steps, you could mask this and do a stencil, so the steps have like a little bit of interest. Mm. Oh, that's a cool idea. Right? I thought so. I just love that you made a card that stands up on its own. Yes. Yes. We all love mantle pleasers. Yep. Um, Nina says, I thought we were going to have to weave the paper for a little. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. No, I'm not great at it. So I would never do something like that to you. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was rough enough to have to figure it out all those eight so in my case i don't know if you guys noticed so i did do an extra mat on mine oh cool so i ended up what I mean, your yeah what your pattern paper was i made it out of a solid and then i took uh one eighth of an inch out of the measurement of that and then made the pattern paper that size. Cool. So lots of ways Whoa. that you can modify this. I just got Adelaide's card in the email. It's so pretty. Show us. All right, I gotta, hold on. Talk a little bit. I gotta download it and then I'll post it. She's going to ooh and ah all by herself. <laughs> You're like, just dropping these stops, Elise. <laughs> <laughs> like she loves to. Do. I can't push the buttons if you make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
my hands are shaking. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, miss tapping. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Well, I hope you guys are joining me later today. Um, it's gonna be in um, it's called the Crafty Getaway with Mommy Lala, and I am going to be doing watercolor, and it's gonna be pretty simple basis. Um. Most of the cards, except for one, are going to be one layer cards, meaning that there's no layers whatsoever. Your card base oh, is your no. card. Oh, wow. Sorry. We have a lot more that have come in. Um, Elise, I'm going to let you promote that uh, more in a moment. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, no worries. But <gasps> this is Adelaide card. Oh Check it out. Adelaide, that. That little owl with the moon. Look at that owl. Oh my god. Look how big its eyes are. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> that is adorable. Um, the sentiment is I'll catch you later, dear friend. Oh, so sweet. Aww. And that foil paper with the oof, that is good. Yeah, that's is like that craft you know, consortium. I was thinking that. She'll have to let us know because it kind of yeah. you know it's like the alcoholing, but then when you do the gold foiling mm -hmm. in it, the marbling I whatever. Is it is it pink fresh or that has a foil plate that does kind of that look? I can't remember if it was pink fresh or <laughs> I don't think it's I love this. I like the half circles, Jay. Thanks. It's just a circle I cut in half. Look at that. Jay already posted. Yeah. yeah. Make it ice, Jay. please. That's, that's for you, Delise, and your iced tea. Except, Make well, this that. is iced tea. Yes. <laughs> Make it ice. That cute little ephemera is adorable. Is this craft, Jay, or is it is it a color? It's actually light. It's like pebble, I want to say. I don't know if it, I forget if it's Stampin' Up or if it's the Spellbinders, but it's one of those. Like it's not craft, but it is a craft adjacent color. It's like sli it's slightly sandy than craft. <laughs> well, like it's like I think a craft is textured, and this isn't textured at all. It's just smooth cardstock. But anyway, oh, okay. Nina, this is gorgeous. Oh, my Are God, these Nina. punches, or did you die cut all of that? There's a lot of little flowers. <laughs> It's so pretty. Oh my god. That's Look at so how like the, I think the edges are inked. That's really pretty. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so yeah, pretty. Beautiful job, everybody. <laughs> Love it. Everyone did so good. Well, you guys always do. It's not like it surprises us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, Jay, Lynn, Lynn wants to know, is that woman a stamp? No, it's ephemera from Not Too Shabby. There might be, I want to, I'm trying to think, I don't think there's a stamp that was released of her, but um, if you go into their fan group and post, uh, both Jamie and, and Teresa, who... Jamie owns the company and Teresa is her like lead designer person. Um, you could, you could ask, they might know for sure. I think that th last I checked this paper and ephemera were still available too, but there might be a stamp of it. I don't know. I should, I should just ask Lynn. You probably have like a working knowledge of the product. catalog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Um, oh. I mean, it's, well, it's maybe it was like camera. Danny who like was like, yeah, I have my whole like not too shabby like section of my like craft room. It's like, oh. yeah, yeah, Danny might have a better catalog <laughs> in her head. Um, oh, awesome, awesome. Well, everybody, you all did fantastic. I don't know if more. Um, posts are coming in, but just holler at um, at me and we'll do a last round if, if there are. But meanwhile, um, 
why don't we have our on-screen guests, our brave on-screen guests today. <laughs> Um, why don't you all show us what you need and remind everybody where to find you on all of the socials. And if you have anything coming up that you would like to promote, uh, please take a moment and promote yourself. Jay, why don't you get us started? Um, I use some very happy paper to do a fun little lady enjoying her coffee um, with a lot of pink and yellow that were at, was actually on my desk because um in my last week's live stream my friend pam had challenged me to do a yellow card and one of my other friends is really into green so i actually have a card kit i'll use tomorrow night from my friend kendra so we will see i'm not going to open it just for the surprise factor but uh anyway so I don't know that I have anything specific coming up. Uh, just generally my weekly Sunday lives are where I've been hanging out lately. Although, um, I don't know. I, I'm sure I'll be on hops at some point, but no, none come into my mind. Awesome. So everybody check out Jay's channel. He is Craft by Jay here on YouTube. And Sunday, 4 p.m. Pacific, PM yep. Central is when he streams. So uh, you can catch him tomorrow and every Sunday. So uh, do pop on over and check out Jay's channel. And if you feel so inclined, please hit that subscribe button for him. And next up, um, Yvette, let us know uh, what you used on your card today and uh, remind folks where they can find you on all of the socials and uh, do you have anything coming up that you would like to promote so what i used was i recently got this bundle from not too shabby it's the spring coffee bundle which of course had all the pretty papers and ephemera and enamel dots and stamp set it just was beautiful and i i had to get it so i got the bundle and I decided mm -hmm. to play with the paper, of course. And I added some more of the little ephemera to pieces of the ladder there. Love this card, Dalis. Great job. Um, you can find me on YouTube on, as Yvette Olea Creates. And I can't think of anything coming up right now. I'm drawing a blank. But that's probably because I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old at my heels trying to get back in my craft room. That's why I went on radio silence for a bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> you might have seen the three-year-old hands in here for a bit. Oh, how sweet. Um, for folks who don't know, tell us how many grandkitties do you have? I have 10 aging in, <laughs> ra ranging in ages from 17 down to... Ah, oh, the baby's almost six months old. So the oldest just started driving, just got her license, just got her first job. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, she's so proud of herself and I'm so proud of her. She's a, our little miracle child. She was only two and a half pounds when she was born. So she's a preemie and oh. you wouldn't know it by looking at her now. She's thriving oh. and living her life. Oh, that's so, that's good to know. And Oh, yeah. wow. How fabulous. Um, yeah. And there's the screaming in the background. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you, I'm trying to look it up. Are you on today's hub? Uh, this morning's? Yeah. For Kendra? Yeah, I was. Okay. So there's something you can promote. <laughs> so I was, <laughs> it already happened. Um, I was part of Kendra's uh, Car Challenge 13 Whimsy Stamps hop. So we were using um, products from our super sponsor, Whimsy Stamps, and I used some adorable cupcakes. And I think the name of the stamp set was Calories Schmalories. <laughs> I, I had fun with that one. <laughs> so, yeah, if you check out my channel, you can find that video there and you can find the playlist in the description box so you can see what all the other team members created using so many different and beautiful products by Whimsy Stamps. Awesome. That's so fabulous. I am, I'm going to give Delise the last word. So what I'll do is sneak in next <laughs> and then we'll wrap up with Delise last. But let me know in the chat post if anyone did post, then I'll pop on over to the Facebook group and 
Um, and we can bring that up if you did. So for my part today, I am featuring Not Too Shabby. This is from the Spring Blossom. This is the quarterly release that came out in February and it has some ephemera that goes with it. And then I just, uh, I always have like foiled sentiments uh, at the ready. So I just grabbed one. Um, so that's my double letter card that Delise showed us how to make. And uh, for folks who are watching from Delise's channel, my channel is LV Handcrafted. If you want to pop on over and check out my channel, I would love that. And the thing I want to promote, I kind of already did at the top of the stream, but I did release a die that I designed and it is available for pre-order for anyone who is interested in picking this up. It's an adaptation of my mini one sheet wonder. And what the die will do is cut, it's designed to cut your six by six pattern papers into this particular design will cut nine different elements out and they are all basic shaped elements with stitch border detailing so that you can um, you know use up very effectively or efficiently your six by six papers and create really any kind of card that you would like because again these are just building block elements but on the back you will find four sketches that have been designed so that you can use all nine elements on uh, one of the four sketches and use up your entire six by six uh, sheet of pattern paper and have very little waste. So this is out for pre-order, which means that if you put in an order, you have the option of getting the die or the die with one or two optional um, tutorial videos that are exclusive only uh, for folks who purchase it. And um, the I think Jamie's taking pre-orders until the 1st of March. And then she'll place her order and it'll take maybe three weeks to arrive to her. So she has an estimated shipping date of, I think she had on the website, March 24th. And uh, I don't know if she's going to order a ton extra inventory beyond pre-orders. Um, but you, you do have to order it in like a fixed, you know, number, you know, a multiple of a fixed number. I don't know how many. And so she might just order enough, you know, just, just a little bit more than, you know, whatever the minimum is, or she might order extra. So I don't really know what that situation is. The only thing I know is that if you do pre-order, then you're going to be guaranteed to get it. Um, if you don't feel like uh, you're sure that you want to uh, get this or you just want to learn more, check out my channel. I have a video introducing what it is, what I'll be showing in my classes, the types of cards that you can make with it. And uh, that way you can decide for yourself if it's something that you're interested in. But um, but I don't know what the situation is like if you uh, don't order it if there will be inventory or stock after uh, March 1st. So I can ask, um, that's not meant to like pressure anyone into buying. I just, I honestly just don't know. So um, so I'm really excited because I did get to design it and if it does well, then see how I named it um, Easy Wonder Die number one. It's it, with the hope that I get to do a number two. Ha ah, so we'll see. Um, <laughs> It's just wishful thinking. So, <laughs> um, oh wait, Susan just posted. Okay, so I'm gonna flip back before we let Delise end this with what she would like to promote because I do want to send everybody over there. Um, uh, let me pop back here and we shall bring up Murphy's. Um, while I'm doing this, Delise, do you know if there's the link to uh, the YouTube link to the getaway. Um, I do not have it. I did not get it. Um, but there is a link in my Instagram um, to sign up for the uh, the free pass. Okay. Let's see. I was gonna see if I could set up a redirect to just send everybody over to that stream, but uh, this is gorgeous, Susan. Ooh. Oh, I like the curvy girl. 
love her. She's like sporting some red shoes. <laughs> I like it. Like, hello. <laughs> and there were there were more. Oh my wow. Planning me too. Wait. There's a lot. Wait. Wait, how many cards is there's four there's three here. Wow. Dang girl. <laughs> Thank you, Lanny. That is so wow. cool. Oh my god, that's so cute. I love orange, so this is really my jam. Yeah. Blossom too. Is Blossom still in the house? She would love this. <laughs> yes. Those look like spellbinders flowers. Yeah, they do. They do look like it. Although I guess you can't say that they have a clean one. <laughs> no, um, I mean just that specific flower. like five petaled flower with like the two embossing lines on every petal is one they've used in a couple different places, I think. Oh, okay, that yeah. butterfly really is hey. giving me A and company. Wow. Yeah, that's giving me that's KM cute. company from like 2010, and I think I have it. Wait, if you have it, silly, is that like stitch, like actual stitching and actual burlap? No, I'll print it. Are you for real? That was so real. Yes. The only thing that it's real there is the little bit of the metal. No, oh, like, like the antenna? Yeah, and it's like three pieces. So the brown uh, wings are one piece that got mounted on the green piece that is the bottom, and then the body is mounted on top. Oh. Like it's a oh, very you have to, you have to no, assemble it. it? No, no, it's a very 3D sticker that they sell it just like oh. that with the antenna. Oh, 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 okay. That looks so real. It looks like real burlap. Yeah. Look at the wiener oh dog. My God, it's a little coat. Sorry. <laughs> does. Look, it's got like a little uh like little snap button. <laughs> Oh my god. Right? Is that what that is? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Where is this from? It's so adorable. Is Lanny still oh, in the chat? Cute little she card. I, I, yeah. I, my phone died, so I, I can't tell Lanny. Lanny, that is so cute. Oh, the doxies are my favorite. So Lanny's still in the chat. Let us yeah. know where, where. Where is he where, from? Where is it from? He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the Marianne Designs die. Uh, oh, that's so adorable. Yeah. That's Marianne cute. and her puppies and her kitties. Yep. Yeah. I know Cindy's got it. I know. She has them all. If she keeps using it. <laughs> I, I am surprised I still haven't bitten the bullet and just gotten them <laughs> because it never goes on sale I and mean, you and no. i don't buy things full I price know. yeah exactly <laughs> i like how um how susan did this so it's kind of covering one of the latter sides and it looks like a completely different card wow oh that's that is a good cool point. yeah it does make it look very yeah i guess you could put anything here that was big and it like folded into the center yeah. right mm -hmm. yeah that's a good idea. So, so smart. Um, okay. Um, I think Yvette has to run. So thank okay. you so much, Yvette, for um, hanging with us and um, sharing your talents with us. Thanks, my friend. Love your card. Everybody go check out Yvette's channel. And um, Okay, so I think those were all the, let me do one final refresh just to make sure I got everybody who did post to the Facebook group. And then, um, yeah, I think I got them all. Okay, so um, I know that Yvette has, has to bounce, but Delise, do you want to share with us uh, what you made today? And then uh, do tell us what's coming up for you. Okay. And I'm going to Try to find the link. So here is my card. It was using Crafting Kimmy's two different sets, Suitors of Fun in Santa Paws for the really cute gifts. I did um, mask 
the lion and the gifts just to make it a little bit more like a scene. And I really, and I watercolor them using my, um, my super color to soft Carandash pe pencils in a really 1990s pattern paper. <laughs> and <laughs> I know in this back pattern paper, the actually it was white, but I thought it was like, clashing a little bit with my cream cardstock. So I ended up spraying it with some um media do you know weekly media gloss spray in the color of syrup so i sprayed it on and then pat, like smoosh it up and that's my cute little card i love him he's so cute i can't wait to show you um let's see what else there's a few things that going on right now i am participating in a hop today that went out live today and we were supposed to do backgrounds like little like fun messy backgrounds and mixed media and it had to also be spring so this is my card as you can tell i went super bright neon <laughs> and I am using the adorable said brand new from Cat Scrappiness Easter Fun. Pete! Oh my god, Pete! Oh, is that, that is you? Cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Pete, is that you? I love his expression. He's so cute. And then um, unfortunately, I thought I was recording um when I made this yesterday. And realized that it never recorded. So oh. <laughs> in there. I know. Um, and it well, it kind of recorded, but it didn't record it. It recorded part of it in slow-mo. Oh. Or you like record, but you lose all your audio and then you're like trying to remember what you did and randomly well, voice over things. Even if I try to speed it up and do a voiceover, it's like really weird and it only recorded a few things and then it was a mess. I lost my video button on my app. Like it was a mess. But like I love how this turned out. And I think I might have to try to recreate it. Because that's just too cute. And for upcoming things, I have the Crafty Getaway Intuitive Watercolor tonight. Starting an, in an hour and 15 minutes. So we are going to be making... It's going to be an hour. I am hoping we are going to be make at least three cards in that hour. Wow. Yes. Um, they're awesome. super simple, super fun, one layer cards with watercolor. Cool. I know. And I'm so, um, so, so honored yeah. that Mommy Lala invited me. So I don't know, folks, if if uh, you'll see the live stream on Mommy Died Inc.'s channel when she does go live earlier, because um, you might just have to register and join the group in order to. I think so, because I think the YouTube stuff was unlisted. So I, I think you need yeah. to like at least get a free pass. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I've done is I've posted a link to the free um, registration. And it might be cutting it down to the wire a little bit, but uh, if you're interested in touching not just Elise's um, workshop today, but I think there are other instructors who are um, teaching. And so there's the link, just pop on over, register. Hopefully that gets you added to, or at least invited to the Facebook group. And um, once you're there, you'll get the link to watch the um, class. Uh, but do that quickly because it's in an hour or so. I know, yeah. So, so unfortunately, I can't redirect you there because it's an unlisted video. It sounds yeah. like from what Jay's saying. So, um, so thanks, Celie, so much for um, putting this MCA together for us, sharing with us just how easy it is to make this. So, um, who would have thought, you know, that just a few 
uh, 20 some odd cuts and you, you too can make a double ladder card. <laughs> so hi Ramona, <laughs> welcome. Um, so thank you for, uh, we're about wrapping up now, but uh, this stream will be available on replay. So anybody who um, maybe missed a step, uh, didn't cross along with us as we were going, feel free to catch the replay. And as well, Delise has an adaptation to the double ladder card that will be coming out on her channel, which is Jamper Girl here on YouTube. So do um, pop on over to Delise's channel and uh, watch some videos if you like what you see, give her a subscribe, hit that notification bell so that when she posts that adaptation video, then um, you can get a notification or an alert. And as well, Delise goes live every Friday night, just about at, I think, 8 p.m. Central. So um, if you're a fan of Craft Roulette, usually Delise's stream is after that and she'll do her Craft Roulette card. So if you want to craft along um, and play along with Craft Roulette and hang out with Delise, she has a Friday check-in live stream. So between the three of us, you've got us live Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So <laughs> you don't get tired of us, folks. And um, thank you again to everybody who did join us live. And whether or not you crafted along with us today, it was so, so fun always to chat, talk snacks with everybody, and <laughs> um, get up to some crafty fun and just see where everybody is at and what you're up to. So thank you for carving out a bit of your weekend to hang out with us. And until um, next Saturday, um, we'll have a good weekend and enjoy your next week. So thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.